Before D-Day, the Allies were really worried about panzers, which were this newfangled German tank that was absolutely terrifying in battle. And they broadly knew that if it came down to a fight, the Allies would probably win. But if the Germans had loads of panzers, then it would be way, way, way more difficult for them to advance. So they wanted to know roughly how many panzers they should expect. And the best intelligence estimated that the Germans were making about 1,400 panzers a month. Then some mathematicians had a very clever little idea because, of course, there'd been a few panzers that had been captured by the Allies. And the mathematicians realised that if they went through and looked at the serial numbers that appeared on these panzers, they could use those numbers in a clever way. And these numbers, they appeared to be ordered sequentially, like one, two, three, four. So by analysing those numbers, they realised that there was a trick that they could use. Of course, if all the numbers were like between one and a hundred, they didn't need to be that worried. But if the numbers that they had spotted were like up in the 10,000s, assuming they'd been ordered sequentially, a lot more frightening. So they essentially constructed an equation with the information that they knew that put an estimate on the number of panzers that were being made, as well as an idea of how much uncertainty there was. And it came out as more like 246 panzers that were being made a month. Any of those of you who are a bit rusty on mental arithmetic, 246, much smaller number than 1,400 as they had feared. And that news probably gave them quite a lot of confidence that um, actually things were probably going to be all right. At the end of the war, by the way, the um, German production records were, were uh, looked over and the correct answer had been 245. 